Hello and welcome to the Jamit Job Board tutorial. Here I'll show you how to create a custom theme for your Jamit Job Board. Here's what you'll need to prepare for this tutorial. First, you need an FTP client. We use Valzilla. Second, you'll need a text editor for editing the PHP code. We got ours from editplus.com. Finally, you'll need a web hosting account with the Jamit job board installed. We use a cPanel based web hosting account. Now that we've got everything we need, we can begin creating our theme. First, use your FTP client to connect to your web hosting account. The files and directories of your hosting account are on your right. Navigate to your HTML directory, which in this case is public underscore HTML. Change directories to the include directories, and then inside that directory, change to the themes directory, and then inside the theme directory, create a new directory, which will be your theme name. Enter a unique name for your directory, in this case we enter my theme, and click OK. And we have created a new theme directory. Let's have a look and see what's inside. Oh, empty directory listing. Let's go add some files into this directory. On the left are the files that we've unzipped on our local computer. Go to your include directory, go to your themes directory, then go to the default directory and right click the images directory. Upload the entire directory to your my themes directory on your web hosting account. And the upload has finished. Now we choose the files that we want to customize from the original default themes directory. We choose the files that you want to customize and we upload them to the new my theme directory that you have just created. We only upload the files that we want to customize. In this case we upload index-header.php. We also upload index-footer.php. Next we upload the index-home.php file. This will allow us to change the layout of the home page. And finally, we upload the main.css file, which is the main cascading style sheet file for the Jamit job board. Let's have a look at what we've uploaded. We've got the images directory, we've got the index footer, index header, index home, and main CSS. Great, all the files are there. You are now looking at the Jamit job board files on your local computer. Here we can see the themes directory. In your themes directory, you've got the classic theme, default theme, and the simple theme. Now what we do is we download the my theme that you've just created into your local computer. And the download is finished. We are ready to start customizing our new theme. Before we do that though, let's go back to your website and let's go to the admin section. Put in your password. Using the menu on the left, navigate down to the main configuration. Scroll down the main configuration page until you get to the theme settings. From the drop down list, select My Theme. This is the theme that we have just created. Here you can also change the background color for where the mouse hovers over the rows on the list. We leave these settings as they are, scroll down to the bottom of the main configuration page and click the save configuration button. Now let's have a look at our changes. Go to the main home page and there we see that the theme has changed. It looks exactly as the default theme. Now we're going to show you how to modify this theme. Go to your my theme directory on your local computer, right click the index header file and select open from the pop-up menu. The file will open in your default text editor. Here we can see the header tags and the start of the body tag. Now let's have a look at what we want to modify. Here we can see that the image is displayed. Let's replace this image with our own custom code. My custom theme. 
We save this file. And then we upload this file into our theme directory in our hosting account. And done. Let's reload our home page. And bingo! We can see our theme customization right here. Well done. Now, what if we want to take this search form and put it over the top here? We would have to modify the layout of the main index page. We look at the index dash home page. We open this file up in our text editor. We look for the code which generates the search form. Scroll down, scroll down. Aha, there it is. We select it and then we cut it. Snip. And then we type in the search box was here before. Now let's scroll back to the top and look for the place where we can paste the search box code back into. Aha, uh -huh. here's a good place. Let's paste it in, make the code look a little bit more pretty, and save the changes. Go back to your FTP client, upload the index home file, and let's reload our job board home page. And there you go, you can see that the search form has moved to the top. And we can see the text. The search box was here before. Now what if we wanted to have the search form with two columns? We go back to the PHP editor. We see that the function takes two parameters, form ID and columns. We change the columns to be two. We save the changes. We go back to the FTP client and we upload our index homepage. We reload the homepage. And there we go. We have a search form with two columns. Excellent. Now what if we wanted to change the font colors and the font sizes? We can do this by modifying the main.css file. Open up the main CSS file in your text editor. And here we can see there's some font definitions. We change that to 10px and this one to 10px as well. Save the file and upload this back to your theme directory. Now let's reload the home page. And you can see that the font sizes have changed. We finished the tutorial here. Oh, before we go, I would like to show you one of our customer's sites, Pete'sJobs.com. There it is. Doesn't it look great? The design possibilities of themes are infinite. And some amazing styles can be achieved. We understand that not everybody has their own skill or talent to create their own custom theme. Therefore, if you need a custom theme done for your Jamit job board, have a look at our solution partners. Go to jamit.com and from the menu on the left, you'll see the link to our solution partners, which we list on the page. You can contact our solution partners directly for a quote. They'll be happy to give you one. This concludes our tutorial. Thank you for watching. I hope that your new theme turns out great.